This will be a general reading for whoever finds it. Let's see if this is your message. Let's see if we can peek in on the person on your mind. This is a general reading, so don't make it fit if it doesn't. And even if it does fit, although we cannot control many things in the world, we have to control ourselves, right? Right. And if you entrust that deeply in tarot, get a private reading, a personal reading from someone preferably that you trust. And if this isn't your reading, check out one of my other videos. It might be there. But right now, let's see if we can tune into your energy and the person that you're thinking about. See if we can buzz through the blinds of their mind. See what they're thinking and feeling. Because they won't tell us, so we have to be creepy and send a fly through the blind to see if we can see. Because, I mean, just talk to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta be so emotional. <laughs> uh, six of Swords. Seven of Cups. Someone walk away. Someone that left. All right, this will be a reading for someone that uh, your person left. So, if uh, you're not resonating this far, this won't be your story, I guess. And even if it is, like I said before, you were there. All right, tell me about the Six of Swords. Uh, who left? My per well, someone left, so tell me why they left. Oh, I just saw the chariot flash over. Okay. Are they a cancer? Are they, uh, were they, uh, hard on the outside, mushy on the inside? Ace of Wands on the bottom. Some oh, Five of Swords under that. Knight of Wands. Alright, I'm gonna say that s someone left. If you're resonating so far, this is how you might know we're buzzing into your person. They left. <laughs> they left. They were leaving on a jet plane. And we don't know when they'll be back again. Alright? And they left fast. Alright, when I see this chariot. They were out of there. Um, Not to be a douche, but that's what it says. And, uh... I'm gonna say... Mm. Well, it had to do with passion. It had to do with either a lack of passion in this situation, or leaving for or fighting. Fighting killed the passion. Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Emperor. Yeah. So, zing in through the blinds. And I have a person that hit the road and did so because either their passions lied elsewhere, they weren't being honest about their real passions. Um, they may have even picked fights in order to make excuses to leave, to fulfill passions. Under that was the Knight of Wands. Yeah, to the Five of Cups, under that. Um, yeah. When I see this, I see a person that, like we said before, right, may have been dishonest about their true passions, wasn't passionate about the relationship anymore, instead of just talking and being honest about that, picking fights, all right? Because their passions lie elsewhere, either with an, <clears throat> another energy, because under that's the Knight of Cups, either another energy they uh, were giving or wanting to give passions towards. And to me, this in this Five of Cups, I see an energy purposefully spilling out what's in their cup, okay? And yeah, so that's what I'm getting from those energies. All right? All right. And I see someone that either took or felt like they weren't getting what they wanted or they couldn't give what you wanted energy. Again, picking fights, unnecessary fighting, okay? 
um, not wanting to communicate, just unnecessarily fighting, risking what was built or wanting to build things elsewhere. Um, two pentacles, juggling, juggling, juggling between, juggling between the new beginning, being strategic about being a stand-up energy, about wanting to be independent in their energy. Death, rebirth, a permanent ending. Now, we could look at this like the uh, twin flame thing. Because <clears throat> I'm feeling like, oh my god, that whole thing, like, runner, chaser. You know, this is what I'm going to say about this. The twin flame connection. Alright? Because at one time, there may have been a mind-body-soul connection. My energy watching may have felt that for the energy that left, or vice versa, or both, you know, with the twin flame thing, it's not that I, I, I believe in past lives, I believe in soulmates, I believe in, <clears throat> in twin flames, okay? I also believe that if someone runs from you, yeah, so where's that uh, knight of uh, pentacles? There's a knight of pentacles. I believe if someone runs from you, you see this, you see this guy, he's got no socks on, take off your socks, take off your shoes, go take a walk in the grass, put your toes in the grass, you're not a dog, you don't chase bulls, yeah, get what I'm saying, alright, if you're in a connection, this is my personal opinion, and you know what, and my, my sp spirit advice, okay, spirit, my spirit tells me to tell you this, I ain't even being funny, Someone runs from you. It's not the time. Okay? You know when soulmate twin flames come together and create that bond, that amazing connection? The mind-body-soul connection, for reals? When both of them have leveled up. Okay? In life. On their own. Alright? When you're good with you and you love you is when all that energy come at you. The soulmates, the twin flame etc so on all right anyway because like you see this run 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 look away like maybe i'll come back another day don't be waiting for nobody okay my energy watching if uh that's why you found this video and you're resonating so far and you're like you know yeah my person left and yeah all right and they could have had if they weren't a cancer or Scorpio, or, oh man, this is something I love about tarot, because I watch tarot up here in general. I see Cancer, I see Aries, I see Scorpio, there's a, you know, pentacle energy that <laughs> could be an earth sign, <laughs> could be any sign, okay, anyway, uh, yeah. I like to know what people's rising are, their moon, their Venus, all that. So anyway, anyway, I do see a Cancer energy. There is Scorpio energy. If they weren't a water sign, this, um, you know, Scorpios, they can be secretive. They can keep their emotions deep, deep down. Um, cancer energy, hard shell on the outside, mushy inside. You know, the traits of the, those signs. Aries energy, uh, masculine or feminine, strong, you know, strong, and in this card, this energy is very strategic, holding a chess piece on a chessboard, like, looking, just, you know, yeah, strategic, strategic, okay, if this energy, if you're resonating, this energy went and did its thing, left, it knew it was going to go, that's what, I, that's what I feel. All right, if that's what you wanted to find a video. Because they were acting like, oh, no, the fighting and this and that. And I just can't. Yeah, they, they, they knew. It. They, they didn't want it anymore. Okay? Sorry. I don't mean to be a douche about it. But that's what I see here. 
All right. Tell me about, um, what else do I, I mean, there's nothing really else to know, but do you want to know if this, and tell me if this energy will, uh, regret, will come, like, tell me about the Ace of Wands, like, the future, maybe, of this energy, if my energy watching is resonating and they want to know, like, could this energy change their mind, come back one day, uh, you know, even though I don't think my energy watching should wait. Is there anything? Yeah, independent. Alright, look. My energy watching. Hangman to the world. Nine of Pentacles. Discover what being independent... If you, if you were in this for a minute and um, you haven't been on your own in a while, okay? Embrace being independent for a while. It's nice. It can be nice. Okay? Maybe you're going to be uncomfortable in it for a while, but it's going to bring you to a whole new beginning, and you're going to see things completely different. Alright? You're going to grow things. New things. Okay? Tell me from my feminine energy watching. These are very positive cards. Okay? And just give me something else to leave my feminine... If my feminine energy... If this is my feminine energy... I'm so, I just see all feminine energy in these cards, so. Feminine energy that might be tuning in. Can we leave them off with uh, anything else? Like, what, what can they look forward to for the new beginning? Tell me a little more about the world. The newfound independence. Alright, that's a shit ton. I have the moon on the bottom. You might be a water energy. Okay. Alright, feminine energy. The magician. So, you have whatever in front of you to manifest. Under this, the high priestess, okay? So, things will come to light in time. As you begin your independent new beginning... Like I said, it might be uncomfortable for a while. Like, right now, you might be like this. Alright? But that's not the worst place to be in. And you have a new beginning to look forward to. A rebirth. You're gonna feel reborn. Okay? Everything is there to manifest your new beginning. You Be alone for a while. <laughs> the hermit cut. Alright? Just like the hangman. <laughs> be, be alone for a while. Release the past. Okay? Release the past. Don't judge yourself um, based on, like, like the situation and not trusting your judgment, your own intuition. Trust your intuition. You are an empowered feminine energy. Okay? You can be stronger because of this. Learn from it. Learn from the past. Learn from the past relationships. You have a two of cups. Look. Coming together with... Coming together... In a loving, pure, pure energy, connect with either old friends or try to make new friends. Focus on what you can grow. Focus on on the prosperity that you. This independent energy coming into its own, right? And when you do this time, when you grow things, hold on to what you grow. Walking towards and making a choice to find your strength, your inner strength, balancing out, not letting this hinder a new beginning, okay? Because there will be a new beginning for you in love, but it'll be after you come into your own. This is what this is saying, okay? And just hold on to what you grow. Don't be, if, if you, um, Maybe willy-nilly fell into this past uh, relationship. Mind, body, heart, soul, you gave... Doesn't mean you can't do that in the future with the new relationship. It, this is saying in the future you'll be smarter. Okay? So, that's what I'm getting from this. And even here I'm seeing this lover's card to the Eight of Wands under here. Look, in your future... Alright? Is a Six of Cups connection. 
is a pure love. But you gotta release that old dirty, uh... Don't let this be a nightmare that hinders you, okay? And don't take that energy back. Alright, that's what I feel from that. Alright, again, in general reading, you know, take what fits, but even, like I said, even if it doesn't, you control your destiny, okay? Um, and I hope this was helpful in some sort of way. Like the video to support what I do. Subscribe to see things in the future. Hope to see you next time.